Hello everyone, Lexicon here again. Uh, this is a part two to my Fallout New Vegas unboxing video. And the reason I'm making a part two is because the audio was so terrible in that one that uh, I kind of want to explain to you what you get. And uh, now that I've had some time to play the game, uh, my thoughts on the game as well. So uh, let's start unboxing this thing again. So uh, here is the actual box. Like I was saying in the other video, if you could actually hear it, there's some wear and tear on the box. Uh, it's all fake, but it's a nice little touch. And then, uh, let's see if you can see this, the, rigid, the, the rigidness of the box um, makes it have a nice, almost like leather feel to it. Uh, collector's edition on the side there. Let's open this up. Like I said, the first thing you see is the graphic novel. Graphic novel there. Very cool cover. And uh, see if I can do this here with one hand. Um, the graphic novel itself is okay. The story is okay. Um, it's not too deep, but the pictures are amazing. Um, some of them can get a bit cheesy, some of the pictures here. But it's nice that they added this story that actually tells the events leading up to the start of New Vegas. I don't want to spoil anything really. But um, it's pretty cool. The, the cover actually I think is the coolest thing about this. And it's almost like a Where's Waldo of Fallout. Uh, you got chaos, the streets of um, some town, I'm not really sure if it's an actual town in New Vegas because it's got like, there you see the Lucky 38 but that's on the strip and that looks like it's just an advertisement but uh, that's pretty cool so it's about a about a hundred pages I think the second thing I want to show you are these chips and yeah the high quality chips um, they really are nice chips. I mean, these are pretty detailed. And the cool thing is they belong to a place in New Vegas. Like, everything here has a branding of some sort of store or casino or establishment. This one is the Gamora, I believe, which is a casino. Uh, this one goes to the Tops Casino my personal favorite um, this one is to let me see here I think that's a vault tech one but I'm not a hundred percent sure it has the vault tech logo on it um, this one is to the ultralux which is a very cool casino interesting stuff going on in there uh, this one is to the oh, Bison Steve uh, Hotel in Prim. Uh, the Atomic Wrangler in Freeside, which is kind of like a vice uh, hotel. And this one is to the Silver Rush. And the Silver Rush is actually like a weapons shop in Freeside, which is just outside of New Vegas. Or the Strip, rather. Let me get all those back in real quick. This is the gem of all the stuff that you get. And it's the Platinum Chip. Very important to the story of Fallout New Vegas. And this is actually pretty... Um, heavy like I said I don't know what it's made out of but it's very cool especially when you learn what exactly this thing does okay so toss the game to the side here the making of a DVD some people are reporting it's only like five to ten minutes long that's not the case this is a 50 minute DVD uh, most of it is just the developer diary strung together with some extra footage uh, and then it has the trailers for New Vegas like the uh, E3 trailer and the teaser trailer 
There's that. And then you have the Fallout New Vegas playing cards, which are awesome. Let me put the camera down real quick. Alright, so very cool cards here. Let me see here. Let me just pick a few out and lay them out here. Sorry for the shakiness of the camera. Put this off to the side. Just pick a few out. All these have to do, like, with a character or a, um, a, a faction. Just put a couple of them down here real quick so you can see the variety. Okay. So, uh, here is for the, C, uh, the motor runner. I believe that's um, a fiend, or no, I don't think that's a fiend. I don't think I've come across this in New Vegas yet. Um, I'm sure someone's going to correct me in the comments. President Kimball, which uh, you'll figure, you'll find out about once you play way down the line. Rex, the dog for the, the king. Um, Pacer, which is actually one of the king's lackeys. Uh, this is Boone and Manny. Very important early on in the story. And this is a canyon runner. So, I mean, they have like a, a bunch of different... Um, a bunch of different pictures and whatnot on the cards. Uh, no one card is the same, I believe, so that's pretty cool. But the reason they give you the cards is an awesome game called Caravan. And Caravan is kind of like a mix of Solitaire and Blackjack with two players. It's, it's interesting, but uh, very fun to play, and you get to play it several times in New Vegas. Uh, now, the game. Okay. There's no game in here because it's in my Xbox. I got the Classic Pack because I got it from GameStop. And the Classic Pack is awesome. The weathered 10mm pistol is fantastic. The Vault 13 armored suit is awesome. And this is kind of like a cheat almost because uh, you start out with these significantly significantly better things um, to start your journey and then there's a couple of advertisements and then I showed that the manual is all in color uh, I suggest kinda reading the manual I said I wouldn't read the manual and I still have it but there are some interesting things that I didn't know about that weren't in Fallout 3 that are in New Vegas so there's that now about the game itself Fallout New Vegas, I've seen a, a couple of people in the comments put this game down. This game is incredible. If you love Fallout 3, you'll like this one. It might take some getting used to to like this. There are some different things about it, like uh, perks you only get every other level. I know that's a big thing that people are discussing. Um, but the, the relationships you make in New Vegas are so much more dynamic than in Fallout 3. Every decision you make literally means something to one faction or another. Um, if you go side with one faction like the NZR, then the Legion is going to despise you and probably attack you the next time they see you, or vice versa. You can pick sides. Uh, there's lots of choices to make. I literally had to sit there for five or ten minutes thinking about one of the choices later on in the strip. Uh, there's a lot in this game to do. Almost anything you can think of, you can pretty much do in this game. Um, like I said, I was a big fan of Fallout 3. Loved all the DLC. There's a problem with this game. I don't want to spoil it for anyone, but I think it's common knowledge. So what I'm going to do is let you mute in case you don't want to hear it. But 
Um, it's really not that big of a spoiler. So go ahead and mute now if you don't want to hear it. Okay. Um, basically, you don't... You, your character... It, once you once you beat it, it, it ends. That's it. So they need to come out with a DLC to fix that. Um, then I'll put it over Fallout 3. But uh, even then, this is shaping up to be my second favorite game of all time. So I'm really proud of Obsidian for putting this out. There's a lot of naysayers. And there are some bugs. It's froze on me like three times. There's a patch out, but I haven't downloaded it because supposedly it actually makes the game worse for freezes and stuff like that. But um, I, I'm going to try to get some gameplay video up and stuff like that and show you. Um, but for everybody that's asked me in the comment section, section of this, buy the game. You won't regret it. I mean, the game is fantastic. If you do regret it, then you are into some pretty linear games because this is the most unique game that I have ever played. It gives you so many choices and you can really play it any other way. I was actually talking to my associate today um, at work and we, he was talking about the way he started off in Fallout which was completely different than the way I started in New Vegas here. Um, and yet we both had tales to tell and and uh, stories to share and stuff like that. This game is awesome. Um, but I, I feel like I'm rambling on now. So I haven't beaten it yet. Once I beat it, I'll give it a final score and, and probably tell you if it is my favorite game of all time or not. All right, thanks for watching.